Bitcoin pulling back nearly 3,000 bucks off of the current high. And the question is, how bad? How bad is this one actually going to be getting as uh, the correction likely to continue? Anyways, other than that, I'm going to walk you back to the Air Crown Crypto channel. It's a nice little Wednesday morning. And uh, and actually, there's an announcement before we get into this one. The, the, the fight lines, the fight lines, the betting lines are actually live now over here on Shuffle.com uh, for my fight on the 24th, as well as all the fights on the 24th. I'm a heavy underdog in this case, actually, but that's okay. That's okay. That's exactly where I want to be, actually. Anyways, um, as you can see, a lot of fights going on, and uh, you can, of course, gamble your money away, just like you can gamble your money on shit coins. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> it's all in good fun. I would not, uh, I would not, in good faith, you know, suggest this to anyone who is, you know, taking this very, very seriously. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, you can actually bet on these things, and I, man, I might have even done just that. Uh, but you can find a an affiliate link in the description below that will award you some sort of special privileges, maybe even double your deposit bonus, you know, given some given some special uh, conditions and whatnot, um, which you can find on their website. But, uh, but yeah, the affiliate link is in the description below for those uh, for those goodies. All right, sweet. That's enough of that. Let's get into the actual analysis of the day. First things first, I want to start off with the the uh, the Oracle Pro follow up here, as uh, we've been kind of following these signals for a while now, and they've been actually generally pretty good. Um, you know, especially on uh, time frames like this, the four hour time frame, you can kind of back test them yourself right here just by looking at the uh, by by looking at it with your eyes. Uh, that would be one way of doing it. Um, of course, when things trend, that is when this one does seem to shine. Anyways, it did have another signal. Uh, you know, uh, you know, a buy signal over here obviously in Wednesday or on Wednesday, I should say, of last week. That was actually resolved yesterday, uh, right before the sell-off got really bad. Um, you know, relatively really bad, I'd say. Uh, and actually, did, was it, did this one post a game? Okay, so if you would have traded this one terribly and just taken it at the close, you would have opened at 35,654. If you would have taken this one at the close, 36,186, it actually still would have been a positive net gainer right there. Not bad. Anyways, um, that 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 closing signal has now been given, so it is time if you are following this to be waiting for the next potential uh, green signal over here. Of course, because it is Wednesday, I do want to reference what the daily statistics are, and we can see that the daily statistics for Wednesday specifically are not super favorable to the boo laws. Um, it is the second least bullish day, if you will, uh, out of all of the, actually, let's go to the index here. Let's see a little bit more of a long running history. Um, yeah, actually even a little bit worse. Uh, it is, yeah, it's the second worst day. So out of all of the daily closures for Bitcoin in its history, it has closed Wednesday positively just under 46% of the time with an average uh, gain if you know if it did close positive positively at 2.4% and an average loss at uh, two spot one five percent so you know just be aware of that a little bit weighted towards the downside right there Ultimately, I think Bitcoin's kind of in more of a bouncy posturing, uh, to be fair, as it does kind of bounce off that yellow 21, or sorry, the yellow 20 simple moving average right here. Um, but uh, but in this case, you know, Bitcoin bounced around this region and put in some time is light is probably the most likely thing to be happening um, for today. But could we get a wick to the downside, maybe about 2%? Well, what would that potentially look like? That would put Bitcoin maybe as low as 34,900. Um, if we do see that uh, play out to the upside, we'd be looking at Bitcoin perhaps back around 36,400 as well. Um, we'll get into conditions to call a reversal here soon. But before that, I want to answer the question of the day, how bad can this get? Well, how bad can it always get is is always zero. Um, but seeing as the probability of that is quite low, let's talk about something that has maybe a more high probability to still be relevant for this corrective move. So for that, we'll go over here to the daily HPDR um, uh, bands, which we are going to be able to release very, very soon alongside an updated website and, uh, and all sorts of new cool shit, which I'm really, really excited for. But it's still maybe like, maybe, I don't know, maybe at the end of this week, it's, 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 fucking busy for me right now, you know, preparing for this fight and getting all this done and, uh, and doing the daily chores, but, but it must be done. It must be done. And then once, uh, once November is over, then I'm back at full speed again, we can start some live streams, some good, some good fun. Um, I have a lot of ideas for like new shit that we could be doing. Oh, and by the way, massive thank you for the feedback on yesterday's video, as far as like, you know, just a weekly altcoin video. Um, I think it's a good way to kind of get the community involved here as uh, we look at the ever so lovely shit coins together. Anyways, Bitcoin daily, as you can see, um, 
playing between the 50% range high and low as it, after it did get rejected on, you know, last week's attempt above 38,000 bucks. So as far as how, how bad can it get in the more near term, I would be looking at this area right here, the bottom side of the 50% of historic returns range lows, which is at about 34,250. That would be on a closing basis, of course. Now, to be fair, as long as Bitcoin is above there, this is actually most likely a bullish retracement, meaning that um, Bitcoin's like they said in a higher low on the higher term timeframes. If we reference our um, our oscillators over here, which will be released alongside the bands, it'll all be just one massive package. We can see that this whole move is coming on declining volatility. In fact, the lowest volatility that we've seen basically since uh, late September, where Bitcoin was setting up for this breakout, you know, it's trading somewhere close to like 26,250. So ultimately, declining volatility as price action essentially just you know, so far it's just resetting, um, you know, and you still got higher lows as long as Bitcoin's above 34, 200, basically, uh, does imply that this would favor the laws here. But in the short term, can Bitcoin ebb and flow and play back down around there? Yeah, definitely possible. Absolutely possible, you know, within, within the next few days um, uh, as Bitcoin kind of ebbs and flows. But as you can see, um, you know, a lot, uh, a lot to be aware of with this particular chart, actually. So the median is coming in right around 36,000 bucks. So that'd be kind of a good area to be aware of, you know, if, it, if Bitcoin's above it, yeah, it's in a threatening posture to, I guess, it, move back onto the upside yet again. Um, of course, this would be on a closing basis. I don't think that's like super likely in the short term. I think it's I think it's a lot more likely to provide the impetus for a bit of resistance, a bit of a pushback, um, just above again thirty six thousand bucks. Really, the only way that I look for Bitcoin or, or I'd really confirm Bitcoin as likely to move back on in a trending fashion to the upside, not just like a consolidation fashion, but a trending fashion, um, would be if Bitcoin basically traded back above yesterday's high at thirty six thousand eight hundred. If it can do that, okay very likely setting up for a move into 39 to 40 to 40,000 bucks. Now, long term, as I did say, um, this is first and foremost to be considered, at least in the way that I look at things, uh, granted these indicators, a bullish, uh, you know, bullish pullback, some bullish selling. No, what I mean to say is, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's likely to operate within the current context of the trend and the current context of the trend is up. So higher lows is the, uh, is the first, you know, uh, basically idea. Um, now uh, that starts to come into question below about thirty six, uh, sorry, thirty four thousand two hundred on a daily closing basis. Um, you know, as, as things stand right now, uh, of course, if things did come down significantly more below about let's call it thirty two five or even thirty three thousand bucks, that would be where I start to say, hey, you know, Bitcoin is probably setting up for a greater reversal here. Maybe, maybe this is a great rug pull. Um, I think that that's a lot less likely, but that would be my criteria for that. As always, it's very important to know, you know, when things really do start to change around. But for right now, anything between here, um, you know, especially over the next week, I suspect, uh, well, I mean, it will move around a little bit, but should be minimally, um, should be, <laughs> should never use that word in trading. Um, but, uh, you know, in the, over the next few days, you know, that would still be favoring the blue laws essentially. Anyways, um, I also want to revisit this chart here. This was the five day volatility versus stochastic momentum setup. The reason why I want to revisit it is because it gave us a great insight as to the probabilities for this upside move. And I believe that it is once again, relevant for essentially looking at, uh, maybe more prolonged consolidation within this region. So um, the signal was this, expanding volatility from extreme lows coupled with the direction of the stochastic oscillator, which was to the upside, does or has historically produced, um, if we look at all of the prior signals, an average return of about 43% with the standard deviation of 10 over the course of about 33 days with the standard deviation of 10 as well, actually. And from where this setup did fire off to where we are at right now, it has been... Uh, it, it is working on day number 30. Um, it, so tomorrow, uh, Thursday, it'll be officially day number 30. Um, so, it, you know, it's well within the, I would say, reasonable context of the average amount of days taken um, uh, for it to kind of find its next major high. And uh, and the move that we've seen thus far is, is basically 43%, which is really very much in alignment with the average return. So I would say that it's reasonable to say that, yeah, um, you know, coming into this week, if we were going to see another push to the upside, it theoretically should have happened, or it was a lot more likely to have already happened. Um, as of right now, I would say that this, again, barring some sort of like a heroic green dildo between now and tomorrow, which it's always possible, I guess, um, 
you know, it, it's more likely to go into to a prolonged consolidation. Now, I specifically say prolonged consolidation because it doesn't mean, it doesn't imply that from that consolidation, it will be continuation or reversal. There's nothing about that set, uh, no, nothing about that um, that is said within this setup at all whatsoever to be abundantly clear. So what, what happens after that? Well, we basically, we basically wait yet again for another setup, maybe on the two day time frame, maybe on the five day time frame. Two day obviously will set up, you know, sooner uh, than the five day. Um, but for right now, turning down, but volatility starting to reset and collapse, you know, pretty aggressively there. So I expect that this would take, you know, another week maybe. Um, and then maybe we have something to look at, but, uh, but for right now, the five day setup, very likely assuming that things don't go crazy between now and tomorrow, again, Thursday closing, um, probably done, probably done. Uh, the five day stochastic also are also in the critical zone now or well above the critical zone, I should say, um, will turn down below 36,000 bucks for the first time since middle of September. So, uh, right now, Bitcoin trading a little bit below that. You know, could reclaim that by the end of uh, tomorrow, but um, but ultimately, I'd say that the probabilities now favor a, um, a what's it called a uh, just you know a stoppage here um, and consolidation. Again, even if you're even if you're super bullish or super bearish, uh, the consolidation is likely to take time. So I do think that Bitcoin spending time within this region uh, to you know to put it in, in another uh, vein because I, I understand that a lot of people are interested in this it's probably going to benefit alts um, assuming that bitcoin doesn't actually reverse which again i would start to really say becomes an issue below thirty three thousand bucks on a closing basis um you know alts will be allowed to kind of bounce around and catch up i suspect during this portion of the market so um, that's essentially what you want to see it basically rotations if this market is going to likely continue to the upside which you know, I still think that it probably does. Um, but as we get deeper and deeper into, you know, into uh, what's called November here, you know, the monthly, how's it shaping up to be? Well, not much, actually. <laughs> it's actually not super great right there, um, to be fair. But uh, but you know what? It's still a little bit earlier, or still a little bit early to tell on that one. And I think, yeah, I think that's a good place for me to be leaving off on the, on, you know, in this video. So how bad can it get in the short term? 32, or sorry, 34, uh, 300 um, would still be favoring the Bulas below 33. Problems start to arise, questionable below 30, 34, uh, 200, I'd say as well. Um, Bulas uh, regain control back above basically yesterday's high at 36.8. And at that point have to be looking towards, you know, 39, 40-ish region. Um, but for right now, you know, I suspect that uh, we've seen the we, we've seen the high of this rally thus far. It's been a pretty impressive rally, about forty percent, and going sideways for a little bit of time is uh, is likely warranted. So I will leave things right there, and we'll pick them up tomorrow. As always, I want to wish you the best. Of the best. Take care. Much love, and see you hopefully tomorrow.